Hey guys, Greg here with another Think About It video, and today I wanted to share something with you. Um, actually, the last few days I've been reading uh, this book. Oh, wrong way. Uh, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Actually, I stole it from the wife. Um, she has it for school, and it seemed like something that was pretty interesting. So I kind of been picking it up and reading it out of boredom. Um, here and there and I've gotten through the first few chapters and I kind of wanted to um, share something with you that I've read um, that I think was important to share and that is this paradigm of um, seeing is not believing but believing is seeing um, especially in the um, you know in our own lives um, in the fitness world going in our fitness journeys you know we um, tend to look for the quick fixes we are kind of conditioned by our culture to look for those quick fixes but unfortunately um you know those are band-aids um the quick fixes the temporary fixes they kind of cover up the problem on a superficial level for you know a, a short period of time you know they don't really fix the deep down problem so you know they may work you know at first and they may work in the short time in the short term basis but you know the the main root of the problem is still there and eventually it will come back up and you will be in the same you know situation that you were in um to start whether that means you know um smoking or you know getting your nutrition on point or you know working out to lose you know some weight whatever the case is um now, what I'm trying to share with you is because, you know, he mentions, Dr. You know, Stephen Covey here mentions that, you know, if you want something out of life, you know, if you want to interact with your environment in a certain way, you have to act that way. So, like, if you want to be a non-smoker, for example, then you have to be a non-smoker. You have to act like a non-smoker you have to have the paradigm of a non-smoker you know saying that like i don't want a cigarette if you want to you know get yourself into shape or get your nutrition on point you know lose some weight you have to be that person i mean if you want to be an athletic person if you want to be like a physically strong person for example then you have to be that person you have to act that like that person you have to act like that person would so in the case of you know being a physically strong person and having you know big muscles for example like you have to be that person you have to do what that person would do you know lifting the weights eating a lot of calories so you can bulk up so does that make sense to you i mean that's that's the kind of you know gist of it i guess you know if you want something you know, you have to be that person. You have to first work on the inside part before you can work on the outside part. I did mention something like that on my own in previous videos, but you know, it the now that I'm reading about it, it's making more sense to me. Like if you want to really change and if you really want to, you know, fix these issues, I mean, and this doesn't have to be nutrition or fitness related. This can be, you know, just, you know, overall wellness and health in your life like if you want to change something you have to work from the outside in you have to work on those you know deep-seated issues you have to be able to admit to yourself what your you know actual deep-seated issues are and work on those first because you really won't get to you know like your actual goals what they whatever they are until you work on those first few steps of working on the deep-seated internal issues so with that today that's you know a little short clip on you know like i said what i've been reading here so you know thank you guys for always you know paying attention and you know giving me positive feedback on these videos and like i always say where there's a will there's a way and i'll see you guys soon